<laughs> I Steve in today for Bob, and it was uh, a sunny, beautiful Memorial Day, but hot. also hot. Yeah. Hot, R roasting. And, and I think a lot of that has to do with the sun. We don't have any clouds breaking the sun, so you're just constantly bombarded yeah. by the sun rays, which were intense. But things are changing, and we can see evidence of that in our Lakewood Ranch <laughs> webcam. If you look over the Gulf, not a lot of clouds, but look inland, almost looks like some showers trying to develop in these uh, towering, not towering, but building cumulus clouds, including this last one in the sequence. And look at trying to pop up there. Uh, their radar has been indicating some scattered showers in inland areas, which we'll look at in just a minute. The airport, it's 87 degrees, dew point 69, humidity 55%. And yes, it has been very hot, but South Florida had record breaking. It was like 98 in Miami. Those showers have cooled them off. No more records down there. 91 at Tampa at this uh, Hour, and it's been close to 100 in Highlands County, uh, Polk and Hardy County, and, and uh, DeSoto have also been in the mid and upper 90s today. But the beaches, that's where it was supposed to be today. Factor in the heat index, the humidity, and it was almost 100 in Wachula about an hour ago. Uh, temperatures even at the beach, Sarasota, 91, even though the air temperature is in the 80s. We are seeing a gradual shift in weather patterns, and it is resulting in some showers and thunderstorms for the first time in days forming in parts of Florida. You can see it passing Alligator Alley now, a lot of lightning with this line of thunderstorms. And I think the moisture flowing up is trying to trigger some showers in interior parts of Sarasota and Manatee County. Now, whether or not anything is reaching the ground from these is in question, but it is nice to see something beginning to happen. It's just going to get better and better with more and more chance of rain as this week progresses. And that's going to happen because this high pressure that is extended from the Atlantic over Florida and into the Gulf is going to weaken and the axis will change. And that will allow the uh, storms to start develop again. They have been robbed of a nice weekend in the Northeast. In fact, all of May has been pretty dreary over the Northeast, but uh, look at this. Temperatures with that rain, 56 in New York, 50 in Boston. Chicago, though, back in the sunshine, 76, down 100 and above in the desert Southwest. Here's our RPM computer forecast showing the evolution of our weather for the next couple of days. This high pressure will weaken and move out in the Atlantic. And as it does, look at the storms blossom. Front tries to make it, but that's not going to happen. It's going to be this moisture from the south and the heat of the land that's going to trigger the thunderstorms. And the long-range outlook shows each afternoon. Look at Thursday popping up again, Friday popping up again, Saturday popping up again, and maybe not so much by the time we get to Sunday. This is a broad brush forecast, but you get the idea that our weather pattern is changing. That is our number one headline. <laughs> the weather pattern is changing for the rest of this week, and that will bring an increasing chance of thunderstorms uh, day by day until we reach a pretty high chance by Thursday and Friday. And because of the more clouds, it'll feel cooler as a result of those clouds moving in. Out on the water, look for temperatures uh, to be pretty much in the mid and upper 80s. North winds at 10 knots, uh, seas two feet or less. A little chop on the bay and inland waters, but nothing too bad at the moment. And it's going to be another hot one tomorrow. I think one more hot day with 87 at the beach near 90 inland and UV index roasting at 12. Here's my forecast for tonight. It will be clear and warm, starlit and moonlit, 73, the overnight low temperature, and our seven-day outlook. Boy, this is a forecast I have been waiting to give. Look at the chances of rain increase up to 80 percent by Friday, 70 by Saturday and Sunday, and Monday only 40 percent. This shift in that high pressure is going to allow this pattern to kick in and last for several days, maybe at least a week. We'll have more on our weather coming up at ABC 7 News at 7 tonight.